Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. We are on the way to Manchester to view some properties. These are properties that I have just bought. There's two of them. <laughs> so step one is to catch the train on time. We're waiting for the Uber guy to arrive. Hopefully he gets here in time. <laughs> oh, you made it, you made it. Broadly a goal that's within my control. Make two videos a week is within my control. Hit a million subscribers is not within my control. So I don't want to have the goal of hit a million subscribers. I just want to have the goal of make two videos a week. Low expectations, easy goals. All right, so we've arrived in Manchester. Now we're gonna get a taxi to one of the properties and meet up with our contact there. And we'll check it out. Journey was pretty good. Had a bit of a chat with Teo for about two hours. Let's go. Let's go to the properties. I asked on Instagram earlier, any question to do a little AMA? What's your blood type? Uh, o positive. How do you get into work mode? I make a cup of coffee, get my laptop out, and put on my study with me playlist on Spotify, link in the video description, and then I'm in work mode. Here we are. This is the building. It's kind of fancy. Never seen it before. But now we're gonna we're gonna check out the apartment on the inside and see what we've bought. Hello. That's so nice. It's so shiny. It is. This is great. You like it? I love it. It's very nice. Got a dishwasher as well. My yeah. God. This is all very reassuring because it's like if the rest of my business completely fails, at least there is a shiny, <laughs> a shiny place in Manchester where I can home. <laughs> and the good thing about this is it leads into your master bedroom as well. Whoa. The fitted wardrobes came with the property though, and that's one of the yeah. best things about this development. Um, it doesn't seem like a big thing, but fitted wardrobes are not something that you normally get. Oh, okay. Nice. That's a job, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. What is this? Is this storage? Yeah, yeah, this is storage. Oh, lots of Whoa. It's yeah. like a walk-in. You, you can fit an office in there. It's like a whole room. Like... Yeah, good place. Good place to be. 1,100 a month. Yeah. Not bad. check out the roof terrace now we'll see what that's like and then we'll head over to property number two okay, we're on the roof terrace it's quite nice it's kind of cold views are reasonable depending on where you look you see a lot of manchester lots of buildings in the background let's go for a black coffee this is property number two in Trafford Park, which is next to Old Trafford, which is the statement for, uh, stadium. Stadium for Manchester United, apparently. <laughs> also, I've heard. All right, so this is our first look of property number two. Um, first, we have uh, the bathroom. Where's the bathroom light? Bathroom does not have a light. <laughs> Aha. Get the door bell. Check myself out in the mirror. Good echoey acoustics for singing in the shower. And we have bedroom number one. It's not bad. Cupboard. That does not have much going on. Seems a bit shoddy. And we have bedroom number two. And more cupboards. I feel very IKEA. Shower, basic stuff. Boiler, good. Right, so this is property number two. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, one ensuite. It's kind of small, but that's kind of what you expect in a building like this. But the building itself is super fancy, and apparently there are a bunch of amenities in the building, like a cinema room and stuff. I think this one is on an interest-only mortgage and we're aiming to rent it out for £975 a month, which is interesting because if this if this place was in London, it would definitely be at least like two to three K a month. Being in Manchester definitely has its, has its perks. All right, we've got a question here. When are you getting married? Hopefully in two years time. So we'll see if that prediction, <laughs> that, uh, that hope holds true. Have you had Invisalign? How's your experience? Yes, I'm actually wearing my Invisaligns right now. But the experience has actually been great. Like you can see that I started Invisalign in September 2020, and this is what my teeth looked like then. And over time, this is now what they look like. The difference is pretty stark if you do it like this. There was a huge gap in the middle of them, and now that gap is closed up nicely, and it's in, I think it's going to take a few more months to fully close. <laughs> This is the 
private dining room and meeting room area that residents of the building can just use. This is like my peak aesthetic. It's like blue, white, green, in a nice, nice like accommodation. This is, this is lit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little touring of, of the places. Now we're going to check out the offices from Property Hub, which is the company that I've been following the content for for the last four years and who we use to buy these places. And they're also managing the rentals by Property Hub Lets and then go for a cheeky Nando's to grab lunch. So yeah, full speed ahead. <laughs> All right, so we got a takeaway from uh, Players, Manchester's finest apparently. And we're now chilling in the offices of Property Hub in a little conference room. Kind of nice, good lighting, good vibes. Property Hub team are here. And this is actually quite nice decor for an office. We're gonna get some ideas and take some photos for our studio as well. Alrighty, let's do some more questions from uh, the gram. When are you doing a tour of your new home slash setup? Soon. Ooh, your voice is really nice. How I wish you could read an audiobook. I think it would help me sleep nicely, LOL. I'm gonna screenshot that for the, for the memes. How to find a woman? Question mark. Uh, not quite sure what you mean by that. So you're an expert in like property investments and stuff. What would be your pro tips if I'm like, you know what, yeah. I want to get started investing in real estate? Yeah. First things first, manage your funds, get your source of funds correct, making okay. sure you've got the money there, making sure you've got a little bit of a reserve money as well. Because being a landlord isn't easy. You buy the property, but there's also something that comes afterwards. Things like building insurance, landlord insurance, maintenance costs. Next thing I would say is have trust. So I find sometimes that people don't trust and they ask a lot of questions and they are a bit, you know, scared, mm. which is understandable. It's a big, big purchase. Let's say someone's like, okay, I want to get started yeah. by doing buy celebs. What would you say is sort of the minimum amount of cash they should have to sort of get started with the hobby? I mean, it all depends hobby. on what kind of property you're looking at. 50,000 is a good starting point and then working your way up from there. On a smaller scale, if you have 25,000, 30,000, you can always work with it. Your point was that you should like trust, yeah. trust the other person. But most people I've spoken to about property have this strong like, oh, I don't want to get screwed over. Yeah. How do you deal with that being a property company? With property, oh, we always try to be open and honest with absolutely everyone. Mm. And it's also looking at showing the reviews that we have as well. Five star, making mm. sure customer service is always correct, making sure the deals that we put forward are something that we want to personally invest in. Even the people within our company invest yeah. in these deals. Where can people connect with you if they want to learn more about property? Uh, so <laughs> it is Property Hub, Instagram, yeah. uh, we're on Twitter, yeah. uh, and also uh, TikTok. Oh. Sorry, Jack, you'll have to pass it down. I didn't want to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got Property Hub branded mugs. Property Hub branded mugs. Love it. Hashtag not sponsored. Um, cool. <laughs> but yeah, cool. Thanks for being on. Thanks for helping us out with the, Thank you very much. With the purchases. Let's go on. Final thing of the day, hanging out in Manchester Piccadilly Station, waiting for the train to arrive in about 15 minutes, and then a two hour journey back to London. All in all, pretty, Pretty good day, pretty intense, but good times. Yeah, thanks for coming along for the ride.